The city of El Paso is preparing another hotel to shelter migrants. This move comes a month after they opened a hotel to serve as a migrant shelter, and both times they have reached capacity. ABC 7's Eddie Berto Perez joins us live with more details from Sacred Heart Church, where migrants have been gathering lately. Eddie. Good evening, Stephanie. I want you to take a look at the group of migrants behind me here outside of Sacred Heart Church is where they are gathered. And just like them, the Opportunity Center is now seeing more migrants camping outside of their facilities. Well, as I mentioned uh, approximately a month ago, I felt that we were on the cusp of a third wave. And unfortunately, I think I've been proven right at this point. John Martin, the deputy director for the Opportunity Center, also told me shelters in the city are starting to see a large number of individuals in need again, just like last year. Tuesday night, around 30 migrants were camping outside of their facilities in Myrtle Avenue. Martin also said they are doing everything they can to help those camping on the streets as well. During Tuesday's city council meeting, it was confirmed another hotel will be set up for migrants due to capacity issues. But there are other concerns for the one already being used in Northeast El Paso. Is that we have a lot of migrants, primarily in the early afternoon to evening hours, where there are groups of migrants at different businesses along Dyer Street. City Representative Joe Molinar said there have been multiple complaints made by residents in that area because migrants are allegedly asking people for money, food, clothing, and work. This has brought concern for the safety of people living around that area. Representative Molinar now asks the city for safety measures for his district or even considering moving migrants to hotels in other parts of town. And Stephanie City Representative Joe Molinar also told me his office received a call yesterday during city council uh, from a concerned constituent saying that she was one of those people that was approached by two or three males during the evening hours in Northeast El Paso. Reporting live outside of Sacred Heart Church, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. All right, Eddie, thank you.